Here we are sat in Costa Toffee and Phil's just bought the toffees and we're waiting for our train to go to Manchester and then Sheffield for the big game tonight. It's Phil's first time. So, are you excited, Phil? Oh, really excited, John. <laughs> Top of the world. <laughs> cool. Right, we're on our way to the station. Uh, might just call in and spar and get a sandwich because it's a bit cheaper. But uh, we've got about 15 minutes to our train. We're waiting for the train now. <coughs> Cool. We go home and away on a Saturday when the beer tastes all the same. My own man. Sick of fools again, are they, John? Thanks. You know this thing with the poppies? I went to trouble last year, wasn't it? That was terrible. Man. Right, we're now at Manchester Piccadilly and we're going to the platform where we're going to get the Sheffield train from. Weather's looking good, the sun's out and it's quite mild. And Phil's wondering when he's going to get his first drink. We're going to have a nice cup of coffee before we get on the train. We're now on the Sheffield train. <coughs> Leaving in about 10 minutes. Lovely. Just having a gin and tonic. If I had the wings of a sparrow, the dirty black ass of the crow, I'd fly over his Britain borrow. license in Sheffield Phil. Is it? You can get anything here and it's a good price as well. Should we go and have a look? Yeah. We are blazemen. We are blazemen. Do me. Yeah. Super blazemen from the lane. We are blazemen. Just trying to locate the Premier Inn, St Mary's Gate. I've left Phil behind because I've, I've uh, walked him to death and he's in need of a rest. So we sat down a minute while I'm looking for the Premier Inn, which is just around the corner here by Moor Market. So, all good. We are blazing, super blazing. Well, Phil, we're home. We've made it. We've made it. I'm knackered. How many miles have you walked so far? At least 10. Oh, 10 miles. Can't you see I'm sweating? Time for a drink then, isn't oh, it? Oh, I need a belly. 
No, I did say I'll have the big bed though. <laughs> so we're in. It's quite a, quite a quite a walk to here, but I think it's going to be a lot quicker to the ground. This lady on the reception said about 10-15 minutes. So it's just across the road and down. We've arrived now in the Premier Inn. This is our room. Ship view. Ship view. Yeah. Yeah. I asked for a room with a view. That's the view, okay? Tom asked for a room. Uh, there's nothing on the TV. And Anne's on the phone with Phil. Again. The shower looks okay. What are these for, John? Are these hats for the match? <laughs> well, they've got to be, haven't they? Well, why do they leave them on the bed? It's on my Guinness. John's Guinness is better than mine, so I'm drinking John's gin. Didn't you? Phil's had a sleep this afternoon. Not much. I've, I've, had, I've had 50 winks. More like 30. I'd had my sandwich. He's got nothing left to eat now, so he'll be starving when we get back <coughs> after something to drink. There is. John's sandwich is there. <laughs> I've got mine under lock and key, just in case. <coughs> uh, I've been round Moor Market, had a look, and uh, we're just waiting to go out in about half an hour to the game. Can't wait. Right, it's now five to five. Phil's getting ready, I'm ready, and we're off to the game. So which stand do we go through, John? Look at that, eh? We're, we're going to be going over there. But yeah. what we're going to do, just going to walk around the ground and show you. Okay. Uh, one thing I didn't tell you, uh, this is the oldest professional football ground in the world. Is it? Yes, where the first professional game was uh, actually played. Oh. Okay? Yeah. You don't know, this is where the away fans go, this side. Do they? This is behind the goal, here. In the Chinese restaurant there, John. Hey? Anfield's ground, Liverpool. Yeah, not as good as here though, is it? No, I don't know, there's two, hey, these two fellas here. <laughs> these bronzes. That Derek Dooley that you see yeah. there, right? He used to play for Sheffield Wednesday. Used to. Yeah, and what happened was he broke his leg broke in a match. Yeah. And an infection set in and he had to have his leg taken off. Oh my god. Oh yeah. That must have been a long time ago. That was in the fifties. Yeah. Uh, mid fifties. And then what happened then was he came back to football and he came to this club, Sheffield United, and he became quite a leading figure there for them. Not a player. Not playing, Not no. Playing, behind no. the scenes. Yeah. Commercial manager. Yeah. And uh, you know, quite a high up position. So that's quite a story. Yeah. And needs a new pair of curtains, doesn't she? Those curtains. <laughs> oh yeah, they are curtains. Have some curtains out in your room. No, we've actually just got new ones each. Not long since you put them up, John. The garden there, little tribute. It's for um, fans who passed away and their families. So they planted all sorts of uh, things there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, a bit of a memorial. Right, where we're going now, we're going to go past what I think is the best burger bar I've ever had seen at a football ground. <coughs> now Phil reckons that the two course meal is not going to fill him up and he wants to come here after the game to You're get right. a burger. <laughs> all right, I'm all back the same way. Yeah, we go round. Right, Phil. Yeah. Do you reckon you should go through uh, this turnstile? I think I could get through there if I went sideways. Yeah. Do you want to see if you can get through that one? Sideways, like this. Yeah. Yeah. 
Just yeah. about. Yeah. Right, this part of the ground here, this is behind the other goal, and this is where all the die-hard fans sit. It, it's it's called the top, like Liverpool's. It's where all the all the fans congregate. Yeah. Okay. If you go down to the lake today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down to the lake today, you'll never believe your eyes. The Jeremy, the sugar book bear, has put on his big boots and cropped his head. Now he is a sure of street skin. Cheers. Cheers. Nice. I've had it all. Up to dinner. How is it? Right. Yeah. Taking notes, right? Um, well, who, who weren't there? Weren't there? He's not going to be any good at the quiz. Oh yeah, okay, fair enough. Well, I wasn't there either because I was my 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 daughter's 40th birthday party on Saturday night in Romford. So uh, I just got back in time to switch the telly on and watch the match. Yes. Predicted two 0 uh, so I wanted it to end when it was 2-0, but uh, we, uh, we, we we gave him a bit of a chance, didn't we, just before the end of the first half, and uh, then I was willing uh, the manager to get Duff on, because you know what I think about Duff, he's the inspiration, and uh, hey, pardon? Duff, yeah, not this Duff, <laughs> the new Duff. Okay, uh, give us your views on the match on Saturday then, please, Carl. Oh, great result for us. Uh, after all the mouthing they've been doing, we're a tin pot <laughs> league. Uh, it's not bad to go back there and I'm out in 4-2. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, well, I, I would have thought Chris was over the moon with the result. The best bit for me was when all that ground was bouncing. Uh, I'll never forget, no, he just went... <laughs> Like that, and that was superb. I thought it was a we were dominant in every area of the field, uh, from goalkeeper to the subs. We were just so strong compared to the opposition, and I think we could have played till tonight, and they still wouldn't have uh, beat us. The two goals, I can't. I think one of the forwards missed a, a touch opportunity in the box, but apart from that, I can't remember them cutting us open once. And I just thought it was a true professional performance. Give me a ticket. Alright. Hey mate. Let's have a look. No way four. And five. Yes, you come to the right place. We have a high you are. You're not bottom row. Not bottom row down there. You're on the bottom here. Yes. Harvey Mitchell, Harvey seven, and he likes motorbikes and football. Next Jacob one down. Mills is eight. He likes football, cricket, yeah, and martial arts. Okay. Yeah. Happy birthday, big life long living. Eileen Smith, love from Robert, Ivory, Paul, and the rest of the family. Happy birthday from Alex, Ella, and Claire. And our condolences to the family of Peter Furness. 
sadly passed away on the 21st of Presentation of the teams. On the Wolves end, wasn't it? And it had to come a goal for Sheffield, didn't it? United. And they scored one, so it's 1 0 at half time. I enjoyed the game very much, especially the goals. <laughs> yeah. I really did. The atmosphere was good. And I, I, I want to come again. Right. Cheers. Have you enjoyed it? That's it. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. My first football match. And I enjoyed it. Is it? Oh, good match. Yeah. That's why I'm videoing. I had top for it. Six pound pounds.
Well, Phil, yeah. what do you think of that? Oh. Hey? This will last me till 11. 11 tomorrow morning? No, today. <laughs> Bloody hell, hey? Well, it's compensation for having to go back today, I think. Just hasn't got it displayed on that one there. The hungry Buddha. Right, Phil, what did you make of that breakfast? That then? was a lovely job. Very yeah? nice. Very nice. Indeed. Ready for another one? Oh no, not for another hour. Phil, what's your opinion of Sheffield so far? Oh, a lot of hard walking. Yeah, good exercise though, isn't it? Oh, um, yeah, but I can. You were being at the station now, <coughs> so we can get on the tram. <laughs> Right, we've only got, I reckon, about a mile and a half now to get to the tram station. Oh, you better get a wheelbarrow to put me in. Right, we're now on the bus going to Hillsborough. We've got two hours before the train back and it's a nice sunny morning. We've got time to spare. So we're taking Phil to Hillsborough to have a look round. But we're going the long bumpy way at the moment. Just bumpy. So we're now at Hillsborough yes. and Phil's enjoying every minute of this. Absolutely loving it. decided he doesn't like his beer so now he's got mine and I've got his and John's is lovely John's is really nice like a package of wood bags like a good pinch of snuff like a night out in Sheffield like a greasy trip putty at Sheffield United Come thrill me 